Hi, I'm Pinto, Pinto Bella, and we did Get in the Game, which was our hoop game class. Um, some of the games we did today, the first one we all stood in hoops, would take turns walking into the center and make a statement. Anybody who related to that statement would change hoops. This was an example of one of the games you can use as an icebreaker and show people that everybody relates. At the end, when everybody was in a hoop that was not their own, they then hooped with that hoop. We started playing music and every single time we changed songs, you had to pick a new hoop until everyone had explored all the possibilities. Next, we played a name game to learn each other's names, where each person would say their name and do a hoop move. And as we went around the circle, you would then say each person's name and their move, creating a sequence and then reversing direction and trying to do it faster and slower. Not only were we learning each other's names, we actually learned combinations and you didn't even know you were learning. We played the knee pass game, which was when we stuck our hoops between our knees, because hoopers like doing these sort of awkward things. And we passed it between each other, timing ourselves to see what sort of methods we could use to make it faster, slower, including straddling, using our feet, standing closer to each other. And then we did the hand holding game where everyone stands in a circle holding hands. You pass the hoop over and helping each other. But we take it past grade school level. We try different sizes of hoops, different numbers of hoops, eventually giving people a hoop they don't think they can fit through but can. And then giving them a hoop they really can't fit through and they still have to find a way to pass it around the circle without using their hands since their hands are connected. We played the lava game, which is where you throw tons of hoops on the ground and you race around and try not to run into each other or fall in the lava. The lava is anything that is not inside of a hoop. And then we started hooping while we played through the hoops. And then we just saw how fast we could go running through the hoops and not falling in the lava and also not running into each other. And then we played battle hoops, in which we played actual battle music from Star Wars and battled each other with our hoops. You can only knock each other's hoops down with the hoop. We played tossing games where we slingshotted hoops at each other <laughs> and, and you would try to catch it. We also played games like oh, sorry. volleyball because we pretend we're on a beach and trying to catch it. We played games where you throw the hoop as far and high as you can and catch it yourself. And then my absolute favorite was we had team races. Two people in a hoop, you had to get to the other side. Your hands can touch the hoop, your hands can touch each other. And added different variations and teams would have to race. And finally, we stuck as many people in a hoop as we could and saw how quickly we could cross the finish line. And you guys were awesome. Thanks. Just kidding! We also had ISO offs and hoop offs and musical hoops where it's like musical chairs, but they're hoops. You can't run, you can't walk, you can't run.